hope everybody, you know who it is, and uh, this is not going to be a Skylander video. So if you're looking for Skylander news or anything pertaining to video games, it's not happening in this video. Uh, you go ahead and wait for the next Skylander video coming up, but it's not going to be in this video, so I'm sorry you can leave now. Are you still here? Okay, good. Still here? All right, good. I also want to give you a warning. This is going to be a graphic video. A graphic, not so much pictures behind me or anything like that. Just, I'm, I'm trying to, I got to paint a picture for you guys. I'm trying to, I want to just, you know, kind of show you my experience of what I went through. And you'll, you'll know why that I have this phobia or this fear of this situation that I have to deal with. Um, so you guys can leave now or stick around. Your, your choice. You still here? You're good to go? All right, good. You guys seem to like my rambling videos, so I thought, you know what, maybe I give some life lesson videos to you young lads out there. You older ones, you guys already been through it all. You've been through the marriages. You've been through the, you don't need that. So, you know, I, you know, if you guys want to watch, you know, continue to watch, but be warned. This one's a little graphic. Um, so, uh, everybody has uh, fears out there. Everyone, and let me know if you guys like these uh, lessons that I'm going to try to teach you guys. Um, because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, put, I'm almost pushing 40, so I have a couple of life stories from uh, from bullying, from, not me bullying, but, you know, stories from other kids. Uh, I got stories from fires, like a fire I tried to put out one time, my first car accident, <laughs> first car accident. Uh, um, that's a story. So I got lots of stories to tell you that you can learn from and, uh, you know, don't do what I did or make sure you you know don't follow in some things that I did or make sure you do follow in the things that I did um, so definitely man let me know if you guys want some more life lessons I don't know what this is gonna be called uh, facing my fears life lesson I don't know but let me know if you guys want some more so anyways but this is just about my fear my phobia um, uh, what 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 is uh, mr. Steve so scared of yeah I said scared um, sometimes you can I'm not afraid to admit it man I I told my coworkers I'm scared of this situation. I'm gonna tell you guys. I, I um, anyways. So I'll get to what it is in a minute. But you know, some YouTubers you watch and you don't really get to know them personally. You just think, oh, they just like video games. They just like video games. No, hell no. I eat. I drink. I get sad. I get mad. Uh, I got a family. You, you got you stress in life and work and bills and everything, right? Everything happens. Everything turns, and the world keeps going on and on and on. It's not about just Skylanders. Come on. So, but. You know, everybody has a fear, right? Everybody has a fear. So what the hell is your fear, Steve? Get to it. And when I tell you guys, you guys will be like, oh, God, whatever. But you need to understand, I'm going to paint a picture for you what happened in my life, and this is why I have a fear of it. I'm not afraid of snakes. Why would I be afraid of snakes? I used to own a snake. I used to own a albino king snake. Am I afraid of rats? No, I'm not afraid of rats. I used to feed the snake mice. I'm not afraid of that. Am I afraid of heights? No. I used to ride around in Hueys and Blackhawks when I was in the Army. I used to have my feet hanging out of it. So I'm not afraid of heights. I mean, you let me, I'm a, if I'm standing on a piece of bar way up in the sky, I'm guessing I'll be a little afraid. But no, I'm not afraid of heights. Am I afraid of guns? No, I used to handle guns. Not afraid of that. Um, uh, what, am I afraid of vicious dogs? No, I used to own a Doberman Pinscher. Seven years. That's another story I could tell you about. But might not be able to get through that one. It might make me a little teary-eyed. But um, if you know what, you get the idea. Anyways, so the fear I have, you know, some, and uh, by the way, some YouTubers like Boogie2988, he talks about his, his weight problem. Uh, uh, Total Biscuit, um, he talks about, uh, you know, he, him having cancer. So this, this, this fear I'm talking to you guys about is a health issue for me. And it's not to the point that I don't want you guys thinking, uh-oh, he's going to die. Well, I'm going to die, but not anytime soon, hopefully. Knock on wood. Um, but yeah, it is a health issue for me, but I've been putting it off and putting it off, and now it's time for me to deal with it. And I just thought it's been on my mind over a couple of weeks, and I think it's time, I, and since it's been on my mind, and since I do YouTube, I thought, you know what, I'm going to share it with you guys, and I hope you guys can learn from this lesson. Um, could I die from this issue? I could die. Yeah, I could die. It's called endo, endo, endocarditis, endocarditis, I think basically when the infection from wherever it is because I know I got an infection going on spreads to your uh, 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 bloodstream goes to your heart and actually shuts off the valves in your heart and you die that's what happens so if you don't get this problem fixed you can die okay get to the problem get to the problem 
The problem is, everybody, the dentist. The dentist. That's it. It's the dentist. You guys have gone to the dentist? You guys had braces before? You got, it's not a big deal, right? Wrong. Not for me. Matter of fact, I get so nervous, so scared to go to the dentist. Nobody likes needles in their mouth. No one likes that stuff. That's just a given. But I'm going to explain something to you, and I'm going to sh paint a picture of what happened to me when I was about 12, 13 years old. I don't remember the exact age I was, but I was around 12 to 14 years old. And I'm going to paint this picture for you guys. It's going to be a little graphic, but I want you guys to understand why at the age of 38, hi, I still get so nervous that when I walk into a dentist office, I start to sweat and tremble a little bit. My daughter went to the dentist recently, and what happened? I'm sitting there sweating in the corner like I'm the one sitting in the chair. So here is what happened to Mr. Steve Smith when he was a young lad. So, as the teeth started growing in, I started getting little snaggly teeth, little snaggles. You know what I'm saying? And some of my friends would call me, hey, snaggle tooth, right? It was, it was a joke, you know, it was all good. If anybody else called me snaggle, it'd be a problem, but, you know, my friends could play with me. I joked with them too, you know, whatever. But, you know, mom and dad said, well, guess what? It's time to get some braces. It is time to get some braces. That's fine. I don't remember me ever complaining about having braces. It's all good. You got to do what you got to do, right? So I go to the dentist and they go ahead and say, yep, we're going to go ahead and schedule him. I don't even know what it's called, to be honest. Um, and I don't think my father knew. I don't think my mom and dad knew. So this is no, this is, this is no fault to them because I don't think they knew what was going to happen. But this is something that had to happen, I guess. But um, anyway, so, uh, so what happened? So it was time to get braces. They gave the procedure to my mom and dad, told them what I was going to get, and I don't think my dad or my mom explained to me what was going to happen because I think if they would have explained to me what would have happened, I would have been kicking and screaming going in. But I can remember this day very, very, very vividly. I can remember what was playing on the, on the television in the waiting room. It was Sesame Street. You remember, this? I'm 38. This was 14 years, this is, no, I was 14 years old, 13, 14 years old. This is how good I remember this. Of, you know, when something traumatic happens, you can remember pretty much good, some good detail. Or if it's very traumatic, you won't remember anything. But for me, I remember almost everything. Detail to the chair, to the wall, to how many people in the room, what I'm getting. Okay, here. So it was time to walk back to the room. And Mr. Daddy said, well, my dad's not the type of guy. He's like a man's man. He's like the hunting, the fishing, the, you know, if you're hurt, get your ass, sorry, get your butt up. It's time to get it fixed. You know what I'm saying? I got stitches one. I've got stitches surgery, so that doesn't bother me either, by the way. This is what, but what's, hap what's going to happen is what bothered me. Um, but like I said, my dad is the type of guy, I got my legs slid open when I stepped on a piece of tin when I was running around in the garbage dump. And he said, he looked at my foot and said, get in the truck. We go to the emergency room. He expected me to walk to the car to the emergency room. I said, <laughs> that's just how my dad is. He's not the huggy type. I love you, dad. But, you know, you know how it is. Anyway, so, but I kind of was like, you know, <laughs> I think I was like nine or ten. So he picked me up. But yeah, he expected me to walk to the, from the truck to the emergency room. My foot slit wide open. Anyways, back to the story. So he turned around and went back to the waiting room because he ain't having it. I walked in the room. I laid down on the dentist chair like we all do. Laid back down. This is where I try to paint the picture for you guys. The chair was tan. The room was teal blue. The window was behind me. The, the door was in front of me. And all of a sudden, they started hooking up a heart monitor my, to, you know, a blood pressure cuff and just checked my heart. Never had that happen before, so I still, nobody explained to me what was going to happen, by the way. Still nothing. I think I'm going to get a cleaning or sizing me up for braces or something. I don't know. I lay back down. Next thing you know, there's usually a dentist and an assistant in the office, right? You guys know this. No, there was another guy that showed up and another one that showed up. I'm thinking, what the heck? I lay back in a chair. By this time, you're all lightheaded, right? They said, okay, his his uh, his heart is going, the beat of his heart is going down, you know, the, the um, the heart monitor saying it's all good, you know, it's not beeping, it's saying, okay, hey, he's good for this incident that's about to happen. Then they go ahead and put my head in a head harness. What? They put me in this gray, I remember the color of it, a gray little harness that went behind my head, and it had two flaps on the side. Still no clue what was going to happen. Then all of a sudden, they decided to go ahead and close those flaps. So now I'm, I'm uh, blind. Now I can't see what's going on. Now I realize, uh-oh, something's going down, and I have no control over it. Because I remember when I was younger getting my teeth pulled, I'd cry like a little baby, and they straight put my ass to sleep. They said, night-night. 
Anyways, you know, that's a different story. That's nothing. We've all done that. Everybody puts their kids, you know, sedate them and get the kid, whatever. Let's get to the story. So I'm laying there. Remember, 13 years old, 14, whatever it was. Eyes are velcroed shut. I can't see what's going on. Mouth wide open. Four people are inside the room, and they're all inside my mouth. <laughs> Anyways, um, so what happens next? This is the this is the part that makes me sick. This is the part that I can remember, like I'm getting nervous just thinking about it. They explain to me what they're going to do. They said, we're going to cut. What it boils down to, I got a skin graft. And I had no clue what it was. They cut about an inch to inch and a half out of the roof of my mouth and sewed it to the bottom of my mouth. Because in order to get the braces, they, the, the teeth need to be strong enough with the support of the gums to, um, to get this procedure done. Uh, to have braces, right? You get the idea? So they started, their scalpels were going in, and I felt them tugging. First, they numb you up, you know, like everything. But still, the fact that these scalpels were in there, the, the suction of the blood, I could feel the blood going down in my mouth. I was swallowing the blood because they couldn't get it out fast enough, right? It was just a traumatic, velcro shut, swallowing blood, four people in the room, slicing away at my gums on the roof of my mouth had nothing to do with my teeth. And then they ended up taking that piece of skin and sewing it on the bottom of my mouth, down here on the bottom inside. And uh, now I have a hole in the roof of my mouth. And he told me after the procedure was done, I don't know how long it took, but it was enough to just just upset me, you know, like any kid would be traumatized. Um, usually skin grafts are people that get burnt or, you know, a limb missing or something. I've never, I mean, this obviously is a procedure they do, but anyways, it's just something I wasn't expecting. And he told me when I sat up, this is going, when the, when the, when the medicine wears off, you're going to feel like you got a, like you're going to have a hole in your mouth, in the roof of your mouth. You can stick your tongue in it, which I did, which he told me not to. But um, he says it's going to feel like a pizza burn. It didn't feel like a pizza burn. It felt like someone took a scalpel and cut out the roof of my mouth. That's what it felt like. So anyways, this isn't, like a regular dentist office getting drilled on, you know, getting plucked at, getting flossed. Hell no. This was cutting out the roof of my mouth and sewing it on the bottom of my mouth. Until this day, you can still see exactly where they, you know, I'm not going to show you guys. I don't want to get too graphic. But anyways, I went off base. I lived, you know, on base in the military. I went off base one for, on the way home, and I was remember just, he told me not to stick my tongue in there, but when someone tells you not to, the first thing you do is do it. I stuck my tongue in there, and I went ahead and did it, and uh, Wow. I didn't know my mouth could bleed that much. It was pouring out like I was at a like I had Kool-Aid fountain in my mouth. I was sitting there, all the Japanese people walking by me, thinking something was wrong. I was just like opening. My dad was in the store doing something, and I was just like, it was just, it was like me being a father. If this was to my daughter, I'd feel sick to my stomach. But my like I said, my dad's old school. He's just like, deal with it. Let's go. Let's move on. You know, he ain't got he ain't got time to baby me. Um, but I was sitting out there, just remember, just just gushing. And uh, eventually it healed up. Everything was all good. It was a procedure they had to do, I guess. Nothing was wrong with the procedure. It was just something that I had to do, something that, you know, my eight, 13, 14 year old kid had to deal with. And I went through it, and everything was fine. I lived through it. No, no harm done. I got the braces on, got the permanent retainer. And uh, years went on. Years went on. Of course, I had my checkups. I even had a root canal, you know, later on in life. I, uh, you know, but every time I go to the dentist, I get the shakes, the gribbles, the bibbles, the who, the ooh, the sweats, the oh my god, just because of that. I was 14 years old, eyes velcro shut, swallowing blood. Four guys in the room hooked up to a blood pressure cuff uh, to make sure, and I had to be awake the whole time. It was not a good experience. But what I want you guys to learn from this, oh, what's going on with me now, is pretty much a small, short story. Long story short, I'm basically going to have to get a root canal or uh, some teeth filled in or something. That's, that's all it is. But I can tell it's, it's bad enough or there's probably an infection and they, they're going to have to hit me with the penicillin and I'm going to sit there in a chair for two hours being uncomfortable. That's all. But I just want to share with you guys my, my and I don't want you guys to get scared of the dentist because this is not what you guys are going to go through. This is just what I went through. And I know I'm probably going to get some comments. Well, I used to, I had my jaw wired. I had my this and that. Well, I didn't have any of that. I'm just ex explaining to you guys what, what's on my mind. What's, what's Skylanders is not on my mind right now. Going to the dentist is what's going on in my mind. And now, what can we learn from this? What is the life lesson? 
The life lesson is, if something in your health, especially your teeth, but if something's bothering you, do not hold on to that pain. Get it dealt with quick so it doesn't spread to something worse. You should know this, but I'm telling you, don't, <laughs> don't like I said, endocarditis will spread to your heart and kill you if an infection spreads. So remember, especially if you have a heart murmur or if you have a pacemaker or if you have a, a, a heart valve replacement or anything like that, it's definitely going to affect you. I don't have any. Actually, I do have a heart murmur. That's another thing you guys probably didn't know. I do have that. What's a heart murmur? Basically where the heart doesn't close up all the way and blood, there's extra blood that flows in between the, the pumps. Anyways, that's nothing. My daughter has it. Uh, whatever. I, I, I did the military thing. I was fine. I ran five miles a day. I'm good. What? Do I eat right? No. Do I floss every day? No. Should I? Yes. But anyways, what I'm trying to get that life, the life thing I want to teach you guys is make sure that you stay on top of your teeth. If you don't stay on top of your teeth, you're going to be like me going to the dentist and now I'm going to have to pay out. I got insurance, but I'm still going to have to pay out the buns for it. They're going to look at this tooth. They're going to hang me upside down. They're going to say, oh, shouldn't have swallowed that. Don't swallow toothpaste, by the way. It's bad for you. They're going to say, oh, my God, look at this. Look at that. When's the last time I've been in the dentist? I'm not going to tell you when the last time I've been in the dentist. You guys will be like, oh, my God, that's disgusting. I don't like going to the dentist, and I told you why. Stay on top of your teeth, everyone, because you will pay for it in the end. And that is my fear. That's my um, phobia is the dentist. So, all right, everybody, brush your teeth. And... Uh, Remember, if you got, okay, if you got pain, take care of it. Till next time, life lesson. Later. Love.